All right, I, I got to unpack the kicking off the team thing. Yeah. Tell me about it because there's somebody out there right now. Mm -hmm. You might have all the talent in the world. Right. But you said get your head straight. Obviously, classes are a big deal. We know what college – those of us that are you know going through the grind of college without it being on a wrestling team know how hard it is right. tell me about the comeback mm -hmm. was there a moment that went off in your head saying i gotta get this right or was it just as easy to walk away um well it's just as easy to walk away but so at this point in time i got kicked off in february of my sophomore year and we a month later COVID happens right so I'm back home anyways. And um, when I got kicked off, I immediately tried to protest the coach, like, you know, give me another shot. And he was, no, he said no. A week later, he calls me back in. This is before I go home. Um, he tells me, you know, you get your head on straight, finish up your classes good, get good grades, stay out of trouble. I'll consider letting you back on. All right, so fortunate enough to have a coach like that. And I go home for COVID. And I'm deciding what I want to do, and I made the decision to myself that, you know, wrestling's what I what I want to do. So I did all the stuff I had to do, got back on team, and then moved forward after that. And honestly, I think, as bad as this may sound, I kind of needed that, right? I I was one of those kids that like, yes, I had good advice, but I still had to mess up to learn. And yeah, because of that, I. I was a better man and person after that.